Hi everybody, this is Jordi V and today I'm going to show you how to use this plugin called Regroover Pro by Akisanis to extract each individual um, layer from your favorite drum loops. So let's say you have a song where you like the drum pattern but you are unsure how to go about copying it. Let's say it has a kick and snare, hi-hats and percussion. So all you have to do is to drop the drum loop within uh, Regroover and um, due to its uh, artificial intelligence um, algorithm, it will try to figure out each uh, individual layer for this, um, for this sample. So in order to demonstrate this, we will start with this um, basic feature garage uh, sample. I would, all I need to do is to drop this uh, sample into Regroover Pro and as you might see here it already analyzed it and tried to figure out each element within this uh, sample so here you can tweak your layers you can choose from four to six layers also you can choose your activity if you want it to be high or low so this will um, will impact the level of complexity in which the VST will try to analyze the drum sample. So let me solo the first layer. Sorry, I need to solo Regroover Pro first. And yeah. So yeah, as you might hear, we have already our symbols and um, open hi-hats here. Next, we have our kick. and our snare so yeah let's say you have already your kick and snare but struggle to come up with the percussive uh, elements for your track all you have to do is to come here and mute your kick and keep the just the hi-hats and the, um, the snare and later you can click on this button and extract the sample so we will have it here and let's solo it so yeah perfect we have already our uh, snare and our uh, hi-hats so maybe as well let's add our kick sorry let me grab that and put it on a new audio track and then let me solo so yeah, as you might see it makes it super easy to come up with a new pattern so this is the dumbest way to do it but actually the VST it offers a lot of flexibility when it comes to remixing your um, your samples so here we have our loop braces what we call it the loop braces and you can loop and remix sections from this sample so let me go back on Regroover Pro let me click on the play button let me also activate the kick again So as you might hear, I kind of remixed the drum sample easily within uh, the tools that the Regroover Pro offers. So let's say I'm satisfied with the result. What I can do is click again on this button and extract the new sample here. And let's listen, let's listen to it, sorry. So perfect, it's already allowing us to remix the sample on the fly so let's get another example to illustrate what the plugin might offer to you guys so let me let's say we we are starting with um, kind of four on the floor kick pattern so we are in 128 per beats per minute 
so let me repeat this let me come up with the very basic pattern so yeah let's solo that and let's say you are kind of uninspired and you need some hi-hats or some percussive elements for your uh, to match with your kick so what you can do here is let's solo this drum sample What I'll be doing is go to project, click on new project and import this new sample into Regroover Pro. So again, and perfect. We have already our separate elements. What I'm going to do is solo this. This is the kick. So I'm going to mute it and listen to the rest. Let's say I don't need the snare neither. So yeah, let me, let me. We have the symbols playing here. So yeah, what I will do is I will extract this and add it here to my, to my drum. So. Just as simple as that, we have already our symbols and hi-hats for, uh, for our kick pattern. Later, maybe I can copy this snare. Let me sort of it also, go here and do this. So yeah, a typically a new drum pattern we just created within a couple of seconds. So let's pick another type of uh, drum loops. Let's pick a break here and drop it here. So again, Regrouper Pro tried to figure out what each element, um, what's this sample um, drums constitute of um, in types of uh, in terms of elements sorry i lost my thoughts there so we have our four layers here let's solo this one so yeah let's say we are into break beats and we will try to rearrange this drum break and make it more interesting so i will try to do that within the interface of the plugin Just as simple as that, I remixed the drum, uh, the drum break, and I came up with this. So yeah, perfect. I think you get the basic idea. So let's explore what the plugin might offer also. So we have an effects uh, section here with some gate, some EQ, some compression, and some uh, saturation. As I've said, if you are not satisfied with the layers it already offers, you might increase that to six or, f or five and click on split again and it will try its best to come up with six individual layer for this drum break. So yeah, we have our six layer. We have our play button here, our sync. So we are on 128 beats per minute. So it's synced to our host um, on Ableton Live. We can tweak the clip length uh, here we might choose one bar or just stick to the clip length, eight bars, etc. So you get the idea, I guess. We have our settings here, nothing special. We have our way to export if you need to export the layers, the mix down or the patterns. So the next interesting session is this um, editor. 
So this editor acts as mainly the drum rack within Ableton Live. So let's say I want to add this hat here. So yeah. So next, next time I'm playing the C5 within my uh, Regroover Pro plugin. So if we go on C5 here. and draw a long MIDI note and let's play it. I have this uh, break plane again, so I will try to isolate this first one shot. Let me... So yeah, as you might see here, we kind of uh, play in Regrouper Pro as a drum rack. We have our kick here, so let me go to C5, C sharp 5, let me do this, this, and this. Let me loop it again. So yeah, let's say we are satisfied with this, but we, we need to add some uh, hats. So I will solo this and let me loop this section. And yeah, let's click the on play. So yeah, as you might see or hear, we have a lot of interesting options when it comes to this plugin. Another thing or last thing I will expand on is this envelope and effects session or um, part of the plugin, sorry. So we have our um, filter here, we have some compression, some EQ, we have our envelope in case you have some crackles or unwanted sound, you want it to shape your kick, your snare or your hi-hats. You might uh, as well play with the IDSR or the attack, decay, sustain, uh, sustain and uh, release. So you can do that with uh, within this section. So yeah, I think the plugin is amazing. If you are trying to study a new subgenre, maybe you are stuck. You don't know where you put your kick and your snare and your hi-hats. So yeah, this allow you to come up with a new idea, remix some uh, old uh, drum uh, break. Maybe if you feel inspired, uh, kick your inspiration in. And yeah, I found it amazing. So let's wrap up with this video. And actually, if I have a last tip to add, it's maybe to use this tool to study instead of just uh, remixing your um, drum breaks. What I mean by by study is try to export each um, each drum elements let's say this one let me just get rid of this so let's extract this one and yeah maybe add a midi track here and try to map each sound so let's say let's say this is your snare try to follow each sound here you're like yeah I have my snare in here I have my snare also in here I have it here So yeah, you get the idea. Try to use this VST as a way to study your kick pattern, your drum pattern, your, your hi-hats, where the hi-hats are put within a specific subgenre, where the percussive elements are playing. So this way you are not uh, restrained but what uh, the original sample is, but you can create your MIDI pattern and later drop your new sounds within it. 
So I think overall this is an amazing tool if you're struggling with uh, any new any drum pattern. It will allow you a lot of flexibility. It's also great if you are working on remixes for other artists. I hope you learned something from this video. Let me know in the comments if there is a section or uh, another VST you want me to cover. And yeah, peace.